Hey, it's Shelly from Best Buy Blog. I've just set up and I've been using the Starlink Standard Kit. You can find the Starlink Standard Kit by clicking on the link in the description below and heading to Best Buy right now. Starlink is satellite internet service. So Starlink is designed to reach rural areas or areas where you can't get a Wi-Fi network. And it's high speed internet. It's not like dial up. It actually is quite fast. As long as I position myself near the router, I can actually reach 212 megabytes a second and that is more than fast enough to game or stream video or surf the internet but before you use Starlink you're going to have to set it up first so I will quickly walk you through the steps of setting up the Starlink dish stand and how to wire it to the router. Unboxing the Starlink standard kit is really easy. The box is very light and that's because there aren't a lot of parts in setting up this kit. It's completely self-install and it's super easy. It only took me about 10 minutes. The first thing you see here is the stand. So the Starlink will get placed on that stand. And once it's on the stand, it's completely self-propelling. You don't have to adjust the position. It will actually adjust itself. And it's really cool to see it rotate while it's searching for satellites. I'm kind of a fangirl for SpaceX and that was probably one of the coolest parts of the install and the entire process of using Starlink is watching it rotate out in my yard. The next thing you'll need to do is set up the router. This is the router. So the router stays inside. It's not weatherproof and the two cables will connect it. The long cable is 75 feet and it will connect you to the Starlink and the other cable is for power. I placed the router in my living room and I placed the Starlink outside in my yard and I made sure to place it in an area that was free from obstructions so I moved it well beyond my tree line. You'll plug the cable into the bottom of the router and as I mentioned then you just plug the router into power and your Starlink will boot up. Once you have everything plugged in and it's online everything else happens within the app so you don't have to adjust your Starlink, you don't have to move it unless you're experiencing obstructions but the app will also tell you that and the app can also walk you through all of the different scenarios for setting it up best and that includes uh, placement. The first thing I did was a quick speed test so this was my initial speed test connecting to Starlink. If you find the service is slow the app will show you in the sky you can just do a actual grid of the sky with your phone and it'll show you where your possible obstructions are. For the most part, I didn't have a lot of obstructions because of the way that I placed the Starlink. So for the majority of the time that I used it, it was online and it was easy to connect. The settings will show you a statistical report though of how much uptime and downtime you have uh, the latency, as well as a few other metrics for connecting to the internet service. I just took a speed test today and after about a week of using Starlink, I can now achieve 212 megabytes a second. And that's pretty impressive considering that my Wi-Fi at home, my cable Wi-Fi, will reach anywhere from 300 to 700 and that's a direct wired connection so it is really impressive that a satellite service can give you that kind of speed. Your speed does depend on your position though and I was in my living room at the time right beside the router so it could be affected in different areas of my yard. I didn't really test it all over the yard. I tested it in one corner and I couldn't connect probably about 300 feet away but if you're within sight of your Starlink, then you can definitely have faster speeds. My son was gaming on his laptop on Steam and he was able to do so and he said it was pretty much lag free. He didn't have any issues with it at all. And I watched videos with it and same thing, no problem at all. So the speed is more than enough, especially if you live in a rural area where you really don't have access to high speed internet. It would make such a difference. Starlink is also designed to stand up to Canadian winters. It's rated IP54, so it can handle dust as well as rain and snow. It actually has a snow melt feature where it will melt 1.5 inches per hour of snow on the dish 
and it is rated up to minus 30 degrees Celsius. To use Starlink, you will need a satellite subscription, and those start at about $140 a month. Initially, I thought that was kind of steep, but when you compare it to a, like, a cable service for your internet, I pay about the same. My speed may be slightly faster, but if I was in a rural area or a really remote area where there was no high-speed internet, I would be absolutely thrilled with $140 a month. I really enjoyed using Starlink link it is very fast for me and I do live in a heavily treed area I just managed to find the perfect spot for it and I was receiving about 212 megabytes a second which I think is really impressive you can find the Starlink standard kit right now by clicking on the link in the description below and heading over to Best Buy and that's it for my review of the Starlink standard kit you can see my full written review at Best Buy blog thanks for watching